Welcome back, everybody. The iShares National Muni Bond ETF hitting its lowest level since the pandemic today. The ETF's tax-free yield as of Wednesday, just under 4%, but its tax equivalent is currently seeing a return of over 6.5%. Joining us with Where to Find Opportunity in Muni's is Western Assets' Rob Amadeo. Rob, it's good to have you here. Welcome. Well, the pleasure is mine. Thank you. It's kind of this, this, this odd moment for Muni's, which are getting more attention than ever because of some of the yields on offer. But at the same time, when they're marked to market, you know, the losses amid higher rates must leave people feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, absolutely. And the fact we're seeing a lot of investors hiding in cash because cash looks attractive versus other parts of the curve. And obviously, there's an aversion to adding rate risk to your portfolios, given the devastation we've seen in 22 and more recently over the last handful of, of months. However, there are plenty of opportunities to move out of cash into even short duration securities and pick up a sizable amount of income in today's marketplace, not just from a nominal level, but even on an inflation adjusted basis. So I think some of the concern is about inflation and where it is and where it's heading. But, you know, the view is that even where inflation is today and it's much above where the Fed wants it to be, these nominal levels are looking very attractive in today's market. So let me just also back up for a second. I think one of the things that uh, muni investors must be frustrated by is, and maybe they are, maybe they're not, but so they might have thought six months ago, hey, I just got an amazing yield on this five-year, let's call. I'm assuming people who hold to maturity, not people who are in the ETF, but they might think, I got this amazing yield on a five-year muni bond, and now they're kicking themselves. Yeah. So, you know, what, what is that, how is that dynamic playing out? So the dynamics are different in today's marketplace. You know, first, the level of rates are higher. So that's why, as you point out, they're kicking themselves because had they been a bit more patient, they could have bought into higher rates. But I think the other part, and more importantly, is inflation continues to downshift. So, you know, the folks who bought fixed income, you know, say a year ago and are kicking themselves today, you know, the level of rates are higher, but on an inflation-adjusted basis, as inflation continues to recede, it's more attractive today. And, more, and you, frankly, you just haven't seen these level of rates and this inflation-adjusted uh, rates more specifically for the last 15 years. So those are the different dynamics in today's market. Yeah, you know, some of the tactical things, I mean, it gets, uh, gets real specific real quickly. But, I mean, you, you're talking about short-duration gas prepay <laughs> bonds. If you thought munis you know, weren't sophisticated. Like there's a lot bonds backed by large financials and, and bank organizations that offer 5% plus yields real quickly on, on some of these opportunities. Yeah, so th this is just one of the cheapest sectors out in the marketplace. And part of that is, you know, the supply constraints that we see in other parts of the market is not true in a gas prepay. We just see, a, you know, continue uh, amount of supply hitting the marketplace. You know, with that, you could pick up spreads for single A, even double A financial organizations in a tax exempt marketplace that look extremely attractive in all parts of the curve, but especially in the front part. We're talking four and a half, five percent yields uh, for you know durations that are less than five years, and so you're not really going to see that. Yeah. Uh, we think as soon as the supply or the technicals uh, tighten up there, you're not going to see, see those types of levels for very long. Prepaid gas bonds, which agencies use to purchase long-term supplies of natural gas. See, every day I learn something. Rob, yes. thank you for your time today. We appreciate checking in with you. Thank you. Rob, uh, Rob Amadeo of Western Asset Management. That does it for us today, everybody. Shares of the big three automakers all higher ahead of UAW President Sean Fain's update on negotiations. We're going to get that in just a few minutes. Power Lunch is taking it live, and we'll have details live. Tyler's getting ready, and I will join him on the other side of this break. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM-insured Muni Bonds. America is strong, and today's investments in essential American infrastructure make it even stronger. Build America Mutual only insures U.S. municipal bonds, providing an added layer of security to improve any portfolio with guaranteed income that helps investors reach their goals. Be part of building America. Build a better portfolio. Invest in BAM-insured bonds.